Hey, what up, y'all? Been here on my deathbed and whatnot. Got caught lacking. No, let me quit playing. But, uh, no, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm just in here for some some BS. But, no, this is primarily for anybody who is playing Dark Souls 2 using, well, playing Dark Souls 2 on a PC using, uh, a PS4 controller. Now, <clears throat> you know, I, I I had the game preloaded, all that stuff. It actually came out yesterday on Steam. Steam had it released yesterday, April 24th at 5 p.m., I believe. So it was technically an earlier release, but I just, I guess they just did that just because, you know, those are most people who pre-ordered it and all that good stuff so it was out yesterday afternoon and i wasn't about to take that l so i had my homies and them bring my my stuff to the hospital you know don't worry about me i'm good this is just some technicalities but yeah i know this is a ghetto video seeing i'm doing this from a hospital bed but uh if you are using your ps4 controller with your PC for Dark Souls 2. The fix for that is simple. Um, you're going to use DS4 Tool 1.2.2. Simple as that. Hold on. Once you have that, you know, I'd say create a folder. Oops, my bad. I'd say create a folder on your desktop somewhere for this stuff. Hey, why do I have two folders? What is this? What the hell? Hold on. This is the old one, so I'll delete this. But <clears throat> you want to just create a folder or something, just label it DS4 tool or DS4 tool 1.2.2. This is for those who don't even have it yet because I actually had the older one. You know, and I'm sitting there trying to use it, and I'm like, okay, we're not working. I'm sitting there downloading other things, still not working. But yeah, DS4 Tool 1.2.2. When you first open that up, you're going to go to Virtual Bus Driver. From there, you're going to hit SCP Driver. You're going to have to have a uh, user account controls, of course. You're going to hit yes, hit install, it should work. I've never seen it not work, but uh, yeah, just hit install. Um, force install, like I said, it shouldn't be needed, but I guess that would be an emergency route to take if it's just not working for some reason. I'm not sure if you also need to be connected to the internet for any of this. I don't think you would, but you know, whenever I've done it, I've been connected to the internet source. But anyways, once that's done, you after you after you see it says it successfully installed, you're gonna exit out. Next, you're gonna go to SCP server. You're gonna click that and run it. Now, when you get there, you're gonna hit stop in the bottom right corner. You're then gonna go up and tick the box that says hide DS4 controller. Repeat hide DS4 controller. Once that's ticked. You're basically then going to start it back up. Minimize that. Exit out of whatever else. <laughs> you can exit out the folder in general, but minimize the actual DS. Well, minimize the SCP server. So minimize what was just up. Minimize the thing that you had to go in and take high DS. For. Usually with that, you want to keep that open. Like you, I think, I believe you have to keep that open while you're playing. But yeah, minimize that. And you're basically good. Oh yeah. Also, just to be safe, you actually want to probably have Steam closed, have the game closed, have Steam closed. Um, yeah, just have the game and Steam closed. So even if that means going down on your uh, <clears throat> Dang, what the hell? Even if that means going down into like your little um, 
I don't even know the word for this exactly. What, what would this be called? You know how when you're down in the corner, you have your time, date, you know, your volume, your Wi-Fi, the battery, and then there's the little the little arrow that's pointing up, and then it pops out more applications you probably have running in the background. Yeah, I would even say find Steam on those little things, right click and completely just close it out. Because most of the time if you have Steam running, you might have the big thing exited out, but it'll be running in the background. So it's not like Steam's actually off. So you probably want to go there, go down into the little, you know, things that are running in the background and things like that. Get Steam. Actually, I'll just show you real quick if I can. See if this is going to work right. You should see it. Let me exit that out. Let's see what you guys can see. Let's see real quick. You can get a good view, decent view. It's like right here. Show hidden icons. Like I thought that'll pop up. So yeah, basically you just go into that. And then you're going to make sure Steam is completely closed out. So when you go to that, you're going to right click Steam, exit, and that should be good enough. Then you're going to go and do all those things I just said to do. Then you can minimize the SCP server. And then you can open Steam back up or just directly open up Dark Souls 2. Your PS4 controller, it should be lit up blue and it should be working. You should be able to hit start, hit A, all those things should work. That's all you really need to know. Peace.